The pressure is on in the nation's capital with the House of Representatives voting this evening on a bill to suspend the nation's debt ceiling. News for Tucson's Gabrielle Parrish explains how this bill might impact us right here in the old Pueblo. Gabrielle. The bill would suspend the nation's debt ceiling through January 1st, 2025, but time is ticking as Congress has until Monday to avoid defaulting on the nation's debt. Now, this deal will suspend the government's debt limit of nearly $32 trillion. In addition to protecting veterans' health care benefits, cutting funding to the IRS, restarting student loan repayments and more. Right now, 30 Republicans already say they are voting no on the bill as the spending cuts aren't enough. But local Republican Congressman Juan Siscomani tells us he is voting yes. This bill actually increases veteran affairs funding, making sure that our veterans, veterans are taken care of. It also, this bill protects Medicare and Social Security so our seniors can feel safe that they're going to have their needs that they've paid into. Congressman Raul Grijalva is voting against the bill. He says in part, quote, the proposed deal is a slap in the face to Arizonans and people across the nation. It's an extreme extortionate Republican wish list that forces working people to foot the bill rather than cut the deficit by making the wealthy and corporations pay their fair share. Now, if this bill passes, it will head to the Senate before Monday's deadline. So hopefully avoiding a catastrophic default on the nation's debt. Well, Gabrielle, they're really trying to push this across the finish line, though. What happens if it doesn't pass? Sean, this would be a very bad thing if it doesn't pass. Is basically people who would receive payments from Social Security, Medicare benefits, military people who are receiving salaries wouldn't be able to receive that if this is a default on the nation's debt. So hopefully we avoid that altogether. All right. Thank you, Gabrielle.